What's going on guys? My name is Drew and welcome to episode 18 of this PES 2021 save here at the home of the current champions, Liverpool FC. Obviously we finished uh, episode 17 with that epic win over Manchester City, which took us within a point of them at the top of the table. Hopefully with these next couple of games against Leicester and Leeds in the Premier League as well, we can go above them, but obviously we need Manchester City to lose some games as well. I mean, they have already lost, obviously, to us, but they have lost some other games this season, so there's opportunity for us to potentially leapfrog them over these next couple of games, but we'll see how we get on. We've got some negotiations going on because I have been looking at maybe bringing in a player in January. We've got some money to spend. It also looks like Vanderberg. Harvey Elliott and Milner are also wanted. So the one of the players we were looking at is Romario Barrow from Porto. He's uh, he's a 21 year old. He's a decent uh, young midfielder, but it looks like the negotiations have broken down. So that one's done. Uh, it looks like we finalised the terms with Almada, although he is demanding a low contract release fee. He may have an eye on his next club. So let's have a look at that. I don't want to give him a release fee. So maybe we up the bonuses maybe. See if that uh, puts him off wanting a, a release clause. So Vanderberg is wanted by Strasbourg. We're going to end those negotiations as he's a player we want to keep. Uh, James Milner. Negotiations to extend his contract have broken down. He's probably considering his options, including a transfer to another team. I'm going to list James Milner, just because we are looking to bring in a midfielder. We've got a decent sized team, plenty of options in terms of midfield, so I think we're going to let James Milner go. He is, of course, 35 years old, so uh, if we can cash in on him now while he's valued at 5.8 million, then uh, I think we should probably try and do that. We've been unable to extend uh, Harvey Elliott's contract, which is frustrating. But we'll obviously try again when we get a chance. Oh, so it, frustratingly, it looks like Amada has declined our offer. We wouldn't give him a release fee, so uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to sign him. We'll probably have to go in for him again at a later date, but that's frustrating. Leicester City have come in for Hendo again. We'll obviously straight up reject that offer. So Juventus have come in with a 69.1 million offer for Van Dijk, which obviously we're going to reject. Luckily, we've got him signed up to a new contract now where he's not got a release clause. So we can end those negotiations. Spurs have come in for Genie, 23 million. He's valued at 36. He's actually got a release clause of 42, so... We'll end those negotiations. We've also offered him a new contract, which will remove that release fee as well. Paris Saint-Germain have come in with an 103 million offer for Mo Salah. Valued at 108 million. We're not going to sell Salah. He's a player we need in our team. Adrian's wanted by Real Betis, 2.3 million. I'm going to try and get a bit more for him. We are actually using him, though as uh, fitness seems to be a bit of an issue with Allison at the moment. But if I could get a bit more for him, maybe we could go in for a goalkeeper, and it may be a young goalkeeper. Let's see how much we can get for him, first of all. So this is the team we're going to go with today to play Leicester City. Pretty much a standard Liverpool team, which I know I say every time. But Allison in goal, Trent as our right back, Diego Carlos, Van Dijk as our centre backs, and Robertson on the left. Fabinho protecting the back four with Gini, Thiago, Mo Salah, Bobby Firmino, and Mane playing our front five. In terms of Leicester's team, then, pretty strong team for them as you would expect. Harvey Barnes, Old Brighton, and Jose Perez make the front three. So, in terms of the Leicester City team, then, so they've got Pereira, Evans, Sionku and the new guy Castagna as the back four with Ndidi, Praye and Tielemans in midfield with Albrighton, Barnes and Iosi Perez making the front three. Right, let's get into the first game of this episode then. 
Uh, home game at Anfield against Leicester City. Great run for, from Genie. Pulls it back. Oh, I can't get onto it. I thought Bobby Firmino was going to get onto that then. Well, one back by Genie. And this is Mo Salah. Salah, just wide. Jose Perez, I'm not sure he's touched the ball yet. Trent. Firmino and Salah. Oh, what a finish that is. Outside of the boot into the bottom corner. Really good finish. Diego's happy. Really good finish on with the outside of his boot there. Good play from uh, Firmino to slide it into Salah. Like I say, yeah, outside of the boot, that's a really good angle, actually. 1-0 Liverpool, then. Yeah, so far, nothing from Leicester, but uh, Perez is very isolated up front. Leicester passing it round, not really going anywhere, and it's easily picked off by Liverpool. Bobby Firmino now. Mane, Firmino again running through. Still Firmino. Oh, how did he put that wide? Should have easily been a goal. Sionku just gives it straight back to Firmino. Drags it wide. Moves it out to Sionku this time. Fabinho just picks it up easily. They can't get the ball out at the moment, Leicester. With a shot from Thiago, I think it was, just wide. We've really found a tactic that works as well, because Fabinho can protect the back four. Just like he did there, basically. He dropped back when uh, Diego Carlos went forward. Liverpool on the attack now with Mane. Given loads of space, we are Mane... Not sure what you call that. A worm burner? A, a pea roller? Is that what they used to call it back in the day? Either way, it's miles wide. Again, Fabinho wins it easily. We're just approaching half time. There's only a minute of added on time. To be fair, apart from the goal, it's been all Liverpool. But uh, not many attacks have got through the Leicester defence. Genie, straight at the keeper. That should probably be it. Yeah, 1-0 at half-time. Salah's goal on 26 minutes, a really cute finish. Outside of the boot, into the bottom corner, separates the two teams. I'm sure Rodgers will be expecting more from Leicester in the second half. Because no shots at all on target for Leicester. Really didn't get out of their half, to be fair. It would have been all Liverpool, possession and shots-wise. And, uh, yeah, Brodgers cannot be happy. No changes from either side. I did expect a change from Rodgers, but I think they sold Vardy. I think we worked that out before, didn't we, that they sold Vardy. I can't remember who to. So they haven't even got him to call on. they got Ian Atchu on the bench. They have got a free kick here, though. Early into the uh, second half, this is their probably their first chance to have a shot on target. It's quite far out though. Tielemans will take it. Robertson Easily with dealt with again by Liverpool. I'm going to win another one because Mane's gone in strong on Ndidi. Is he going to get a yellow card? Yeah, he is. Yellow card for Mane. To be fair, if he did win the ball then... I think it was going to be uh, a Liverpool counter-attack with potentially three on two. Another free kick then for Leicester. Interesting free kick that. They're in though. And Perez was trying to get his first shot there on target. And just keeps coming back at them. 
Thiago, Firmino, Jota, Trent, back to Jota, straight to the keeper. 83 minutes on the clock then, still Liverpool lead 1-0. Great play there, and Fabinho's running forward, gets it to Mane, Firmino, Jota, and Gini, straight to the keeper, scrappy play, but eventually comes to Gini who has a smash at it, Mertens is coming on for Mane, a couple of changes from Leicester as well. Too late in the game, I think, for Leicester now. Robertson. Mertens, he's just come on. Deflected and in. First touch of the ball for Mertens. And it's 2-0 Liverpool. 91 minutes on the clock. That'll seal it. Hendo's going to come on for Thiago, but uh, there's literally only 56. Well, 50 seconds left. Instant uh, impact from Mertens. It's deflected off a of Sionku, I think, which takes it over the keeper who's diving across his goal. Let's have a look at this again from this angle. Mertens shot. Yeah, it comes off a of Sionku over the keeper. 2 0 Liverpool. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd that should be it then. his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. Two up. That's it. Two 0 Liverpool. Salah on 26 minutes, and then Mertens comes on, and his first touch is to score a goal on 91 minutes. Such a comfortable victory for Liverpool there against Leicester. They really didn't have anything going forward. I'm not sure how many touches uh, Perez actually had in the game. I think he had one shot which was blocked. It was all Liverpool and uh, they deserve that 2-0 win. Other results from today then. Man City won again. They beat Wolves 3-0. Leeds drew 2 all with Palace. West Ham beat uh, Sheffield United 1-0 and Villa beat Burnley 2-0. So no change at the top of the table. We're still a point behind City as they won as well. Salah's out with a bruise. Not sure how long he's out for. Sometime in January apparently. So a few bits of transfer negotiations going on here. Let's have a look at the players we've gone in for. Negotiations have broken down. Our offer was rejected. That's a shame because this guy looks pretty decent. And again the negotiations have broken down with with Svilar. How do you pronounce his name? Svilar? Not sure. But uh, yeah, we couldn't seem to get any sort of negotiations going with him, which is a bit of a shame, as he would have been our backup for Adrian if we did decide to sell him. A few transfer offers have come in. Man City have come in for Bobby. Definitely going to reject that. Genie signed a new contract, which is good. And that means that there's no release fee either. Yep, that's good as well. Real Madrid have come in for Dries Mertens. That doesn't surprise me. He's been in decent form, actually, since we signed him. 23 million they've offered, which is more than what he's valued at. I think we're going to reject that, though, because he has been decent, especially in that last game against Leicester, coming on and uh, essentially killing off the game. Adrian, they have matched that offer of 2.6 million that I asked for. I'm going to accept it. I've sold Adrian. He's gone. 2.6 million to Betis. So with Adrian going out the door, if you guys can recommend a goalkeeper for me to look at, potentially a young goalkeeper that could be a backup to Allison, I'll obviously take a look at him. Please let me know in the comments. Other than that, we might do a bit of a scouting search and see who we can find. So this is the lineup we're going to go with today to play Leeds United. Slightly rotated team. Obviously Salah's injured, so Dries is coming in for him. Obviously had a really good impact against uh, Leicester when he came on. Cater's also come in to midfield as well. Fabinho's dropped to the bench and Hendo's come in to protect the back four. 
we need to switch the captain to Henderson as well. In terms of Leeds United then, decent team for them obviously. Held Costa on the left, Rafinha on the right, Rodrigo up front, decent striker, obviously 83 rated. So uh, we'll be looking to nullify their attacks where we can. Lorente and uh, Ben White as centre-backs, Amati at right-back and Douglas at left-back with uh, Phillips protecting the back four there as their defensive midfielder. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening condition. The second Absolutely game of the episode then, and it's the Liverpool game. against Leeds. Thiago can't get the ball through to Trent. Leeds are on the attack here, and Rodri goes in, and they've scored. It's 1 0 Leeds. 12 minutes on the clock. I thought he'd be the danger man. They've already done more in the first 12 minutes than Leicester did in 90 minutes. Liverpool 1 0 down. Maradona not happy at all. Not surprising. Good ball in. I think that's Costa, is it, into Rodrigo? I think Costa's already celebrating as he passes this ball. Can we see his arm go up? No, we can't. Yeah, there you go, look. He's already celebrating before Rodrigo's put it past the goalkeeper. That's confidence. 1 0 leads. Cater. Mertens, Firmino, what a save that is. Oh, has it gone in? Oh, it's gone in. I was expecting that to go wide. What a goal from Firmino. Unlucky for the goalkeeper, but um, an instant response from Liverpool. They didn't like going a goal down. Let's look at this again. I thought the keeper had saved it and they pushed it wide. In fact, he one-handedly tried to put it over the crossbar, but ended up putting it into his own net. Might be better from this angle. Yeah, he tried to put it over the crossbar, uh, actually dropped inside the, the crossbar into the bottom of the net. It's a one-all. Long ball football, straight from the goal kick. I thought Rodrigo was going to get in there. Neither Gomez nor Van Dyke dealt with that very well. Luckily we get away with one. Literally from the goal kick as well. Liverpool down the other end then. Mertens. Great, great turn from Firmino and that's a free kick. Great bit of skill that. I'm not sure how I did it, but great bit of skill. Yellow card for the uh, Leeds player there. Can't see who it is. Look at this. Like I said, I don't quite know how I did it. Konovalov. Is he a new player that they've signed? Right. Trent with a free kick. We haven't done very well with free kicks. So let's try a bit more power. Yeah, that sent it miles over. I want to be able to put the, um, the dip on it. So that it kind of goes up and down quickly, but I'm not sure how you do that. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys know how to do it. Approaching half time here, and it's uh, level pegging. And that's it, one all at half time. Rodrigo's goal after 13 minutes instantly cancelled out by Bobby Firmino. Pretty even game in terms of shots and possession. Jota now. Cater still got the ball somehow. Mane. Firmino and Jota scores. Ten minutes of the game left. Jota has come on. I'm not sure if that's his first touch or not, but he's uh, scored for Liverpool. Genie's going to come on for Thiago because he's struggling fitness-wise. Great flick, little back heel from Firmino and a lovely finish from Jota, past the keeper. The turnaround is complete for Liverpool. Has been all Liverpool this second half. 
Leeds pushing forward now with Douglas. Douglas. He gets a great ball in. Well dealt with by um, Van Dijk, I think it was, against Rodrigo. Douglas gets another chance. This time it's missed by... Oh, that was close. It was missed by Gomez. I'm not sure who that was that had the header, but that was almost in. Approaching the end of the game then. Only two minutes have added on time. Almost there, and the players can feel it. That should probably be it, I would have thought, ref. Yeah, there you go. 2-1 to Liverpool then. Jota's goal on 79 minutes got us the win in the end. Tough match, though, against Leeds, as you expect it to be, and as it was in real life when Liverpool played them at the start of the season. Pretty tight affair in terms of possession. Shots on target, obviously Liverpool dominated, but um, not that many um, chances for Liverpool, to be fair. A lot of shots blocked. Other results today, and what an important goal that was. The uh, the Jota goal right at the end, because Manchester City drew with Leicester. So Leicester managed to score two goals against Manchester City with uh, the lineup that they had. I mean, we just played them, and uh, they didn't do much against us. Maybe they tweaked the tactic a bit, but who cares? A draw for Manchester City means we will be level on points with them at the top of the table. West Ham beat Crystal Palace 4-2, Sheffield United thrashed Villa 4-0, and West Brom beat Burnley 1-0. So I don't know why I said we'd be level on points for them, because we won and City drew. So obviously we go a point above them, which is epic. So uh, we're top of the table. I think that's the first time this season we've been top of the table as well. So good start for us, obviously, and uh, we'll look to push on from there. So guys, that completes episode 18 of this Pez 2021 save here at Liverpool. I think a really good way to finish the episode is just to look at the table and see that we are now above Manchester City with that uh, last gasp winner against Leeds for Jota and obviously uh, Leicester doing us a favour and holding Manchester City to a two-all draw. Obviously there's quite a bit of the season left to go. So I suspect there'll be some um, twists and turns as we're going through it. But at the moment, we're top of the table. And I think that's a really good way to leave this episode. Hopefully, guys, you've enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Uh, drop some comments as well, if you like. And uh, subscribe to find out when the next episode will be available. And we'll see you in the next one.